Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Just Knight over here at Producer Push. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a little baby type beat without Omnisphere. So, um, I'm not going to go through the whole process of sound selection and just like actually making the beat from scratch. Well, I actually am, but I'm going to be skipping some parts because I know me personally, I watch in tutorials and it can be kind of frustrating while I'm watching them like, okay, this sound, this sound, this sound. So I'm going to kind of skip through some unimportant parts, but I'm going to show you guys like obviously the parts I think are necessary to make a fire little baby type beat without Omnisphere. So let's uh, get into it. So um, the first thing that I did, or the first thing I think you should do obviously, is just go ahead and hit that little um, down arrow thing. And you're going to hit helpers and just go ahead and hit scale highlighting. Right, and um, so this is the scale I'm going to be using. It's called Melodic Minor in G. Um, and I think that's just a fire scale to use for a little baby type beat. Um, so obviously I'm going to go through the guideline of using the white um, or the highlighted areas. So it's obviously if you can see, it's the lighter parts. So obviously I'm not going to play notes in the darker parts. So I'd be off scale. So one of the first things I'll do <clears throat> is I'll need a, um, what you call it, um, have a guitar sound. So the guitar sound that I already selected um, before I hit the record button on the camera was uh, this uh, sound from <clears throat> Expand. It's just a bunch of presets that I put together. <clears throat> and I'll like leave it for like two more seconds so you can see I use uh, hard nylon strings, ukulele, soft nylon strings, very hard. And I just use like just four different things and I mixed it like that. So uh, nothing important. And so the first thing I'll do is, um, or I think uh, that you should do when making a little baby type beat is just make a scale, right? I mean, just um, what you call it, just make some chords, right? So um, I'm doing this in 130 BPM, by the way, because I think that's just like a solid BPM to make a fire little baby type beats. So let's, I'm just going to really just do like half of it real quick, just to show you an example. By the way, you don't need any music theory as long as you have, uh, you know, the helpers in FL Studio. You honestly, um, you don't need music theory. I don't like how this is sounding, but um, I'm definitely probably going to fast forward and change it. But anyways, the part that I wanted to show you, that's like the important part, is really... Um, to get that fire sounding guitar, what you're going to do is whatever chord you come up with for your low baby type beat <clears throat> or whoever you're trying to do, right? Um, could be a gunner type beat. Just select them all, hit alt a, right? So it's going to, um, arpeggiate it, right? So you can hit accept and then you're basically going to extend the notes, right? And then what you're going to do is just, let's just extend it a little bit more. And then you're just going to kind of tweak with them or just play with them a little bit more. So like this end one, I might just take it off, you know, might cut this off a little, make this touch this part. Um, and I'm not going to go too deep. Let's just show you how it sounds right now. But So you see how it made a completely different um, sound once you like, um, let's just hit control Z real quick. <clears throat> once you like make a chord and you arpeggiate it right so that's really just a easy way to make fire melodies for a guitar just make simple chords select them all a arpeggiate it extend the notes and um what you call it just like then from here you could just tweak it whatever you want to do right so now i'm going to just fast forward and like maybe just cut the video to the part that um where i already have my melody i was just showing you guys the technique to make these little baby type beats because i was always just like instead of just arpeggiating the guitar notes i was like trying to make the melodies like like i don't know how to explain it i was like adding the chords and then adding notes and it just takes a long time to do that when I found out like this little secret of just like making chords and arpeggiating it. Boom, you're done. Snap, done. So um, like I said, let me stop talking and fast forward to the to the part where I already have my chords. All right, so now we're right here. These are the chords I came up with. Like I said, again, um, I tweaked it a little bit. I just made some chords. Like I said, simple chords, 130 BPM. And I um, control, I mean, alt A and made it, arpeggiated it. And now this is what I have. So I'll play it for you guys real quick. Um, 
and that's pretty much it so now i'll go into the next sound real quick okay so the next sound i ended up using was this um um i honestly don't even know what to call this vst i got it for like a dollar because it was on sale somewhere um it's called like strum session i guess and um it's just like a little layer i added to the first um guitar layer so i'll play this real quick and I literally i think i just copied it and pasted no, I did not, I think. I copied and pasted the melody from the other guitar um, melody I made. And then I think I uh, literally just went up like an octave or went down. I'm not sure, but I'll play it. Yeah, I went up. And I didn't really change anything. Like I said, I just copied, pasted it, made it an octave higher. And then um, that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to go to the third melodic sound real quick. Okay, now for the third melodic sound, I basically use this VST from Expand. I mean, not this VST. I use Expand again, and this is literally like a sixty dollar VST. It's not five hundred dollars like Omnisphere. So um, I just got this flute. Um, it's like you can see it right here, the exact preset. I really didn't do anything to it, and um, <clears throat> I just made this melody um real quick. And again, I'm just following the, the chords from um, the highlighted um, notes that are highlighted for me. And then I just played it together with the guitar. Right now I have the flute soloed, but I played it together with the guitar to come up with this. So. so let me go ahead and play them. Um, skip to where I have the um, flutes or in guitars both playing at the same time. Like I said, I'm gonna be chopping this video so we like we just save a lot of time. All right, so now um, that we're back again, this is how the melodic um, instruments sound together. And right there, you're done. 50% of the beat is done. Now, if you wanna add some growth speed to it, add some sauce, um, whatever you wanna do, but like 50% of the beat is done right there. Like I said, I chopped up the video because I wanted to just make it go through um, as fast as I can without like boring you guys. So um, <clears throat> yeah, the secret is just make guitar chords, arpeggiate it, boom, add a flute. And like I said, I, I did not use Omnisphere. I literally just use um, Expand. Like two instances of expand and then this one VST I got for a dollar. So um yeah. Now let's uh fast forward to the drums. Okay, now for the claps, like <clears throat> I said it's nothing special. Um it's the same thing like um all trap beats pretty much. I'll just play it real quick. Nothing special. Um now I'm gonna fast forward to the um snare. So I added the snares with the claps. Um or I said that completely wrong. I added the snares like right behind the clap. So I'll play it for you guys real quick just to add some bounce to it. And fast forward to like maybe right here. Yeah, so nothing special, but when you add, put it all together, oh, it's gonna come out fire. I'm telling it's gonna come out fire. Um. But yeah, let's go um to the next thing that I ended up doing. Okay, so this is a hi hat pattern I use. Um, nothing special, honestly. I think it's pretty basic. I mean, yeah, it went up and down a couple of times, but um, I would just play that with the clap real quick and the snare and the uh, um. Actually, uh, let me let me um put the melody on too. So it's like I said, simple hi hat pattern. I didn't even do anything special to it. What I should have done, um, well actually I'll add that in right now. Um, little technique. I made another video about this like a while ago. But if you want to like kind of spice up your hi hats, instead of just like keeping it the same velocity and like you know not panning it, um, just select it all and instead of manually doing it, just hit this wrench tool, and we're gonna hit randomize and that's gonna randomize like the panning. It's going to randomize the velocity, so it kind of just adds a little spice to like your hi-hats. Um, so now let's go on to the next sound. So, Okay, so the next thing I added were these uh, perks um, that I'm going to probably include in my um, upcoming drum kit. I don't even know what it's called, so it's probably like pointless to mention it. 
But um yeah, so I added these perks and they're like right behind the the clap, kind of where the snares were. So I'll hear, I'll let you hear that bounce real quick. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I pretty much added was just a symbol right in the beginning of the um, the downbeat. And then I also added like um, a shaker. So I'll play that for you guys real quick. So it's going to have the symbol right before everything. So yeah, that's pretty much... Um, what I got so far, the next thing I got to add is just the kicks and the 808s. Me, personally, I like doing the kicks and the 808s a little bit last, kind of. I don't know. I just, I don't like adding too many. I don't like, I, it's just personal preference. You can do whatever the you want. Um, you know what I mean? So, uh, let me hop onto it real quick. Okay, so this is a kick pattern I came up with. Um, like, I, I don't know if you noticed, every producer pretty much does this. I had the velocity just like crazy on the um, kicks um you know just up and then also what i do is i saw this in a busy works um beats tutorial is i like to just like add the volume here um just a little bit higher along with like you know messing with the volume on the mixer channel so it just makes the kick like hit hard so i'll play that for real quick <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much it for the kick now. It's just the 808, so let me hop onto that. Okay, so me personally, I like laying the kicks with the 808s together. So um, I pretty much just copied and pasted the pattern I had for the kick, and then I moved it up for where I wanted to do with the 808s. Again, I'm following the scale with the highlighted notes. Um, so this is what I have when you play the 808 together. <laughs> And I might just uh, I might just show you guys. Let me show you guys real quick. The 808 that I'm using is just a Zay 808. Um, so it's pretty common. Pretty much one of my favorites right now. I've been messing with that and the Spins 808 just because they're both just classics, you know. Um, but let me go ahead and show you guys how the 808 sounds with just the melody. So now I'm going to go to the next part, which I think there isn't. I might be forgetting something. What else should I add here? Hi-hats. No, close hi-hats. Open hi-hats. Damn. Okay, so now I just have something extremely simple for the um, open hi-hats. or I just, I'm just going to say open hats. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much the beat all together. Let me just um, play you everything I have. <laughs> dance a little while you make your beat oh, it's, it's not a good beat <laughs> but um yeah and that's pretty much all i did it's really simple i did this without omni spear anyone could literally do this um so let me go ahead and fast forward to what i have for the whole beat and um should i do some mixing should i like like record it while i'm mixing um nah i have other videos on that but uh yeah so let's get to it all right, guys, so this is pretty much it. So um, this is the beat I have. Um, if you guys like this beat, you could definitely check it out on my personal um, beat making channel or my just beat channel. So I'll play it for you guys real quick. That's pretty much it for you guys. It's your boy Just Might over here at Producer Push, and I'm out. Peace.